headed to the Creed Boutique to see about the new releases. So the Queen of Silk and the new Millicene 1849. So we're in here trying to get our nose on it. And as you see, there are plenty of Creeds. Here is the new one. I like the matte bottle. And uh, we're going to do a note breakdown and we're going to discuss this fragrance. And we're also going to talk about um, the Queen of Silk as well. To how they adjust and sense to see if we can get a sample of this one. Then what we're going to do is compare this to 18, year 1849 from Dua and give a clear comparison. So I want to give a big thanks to my guy, Justin Sense. You know, he's over there at Nordstrom. So uh, he gave us a sample. So of, uh, if you want uh, any chance of smelling the original, unless you know somebody who can get you into the Creed vault, and if you do, hit my line so I can <laughs> get over in that vault. But you're going to have to go to Dua and get year 1849. So now what I'm going to do is do a comparison. Spray that right there. Mm -hmm. The uh, new one, the notes are come, it's not like completely different, but this new one is way more modern. So, yeah, this new one is way more modern, and the this Dua, if it actually smells like the original, which they say this is what the original smells like, this is more uh, mature. I don't want to say dated, but it's, it's showing its age. I, I could see this on an older businessman. And this one here is like the more modern, like tech, tech savvy, tech millionaire. So yeah, so they modernized that fragrance. So the original was said to be a unisex, more feminine linen blend because of uh, the top smelling like bananas from the Uvangulane that falls into a woody scent. But to me, this is a straight masculine scent. It's musk. Food, cedarwood, sandalwood, and the ylang ylang at the top in the opening. Very masculine. And the new one is a Harrods release originally to celebrate 200 years of Harrods. And you know, this is a less antiquated, the notes are a little more powdery, and the ylang ylang has been turned down. Now, it's Queen of Silk. Is a 2024 release that to me is unisex that some men can pull off. I got plenty of compliments. This is Creed going in a new modern creative direction. This is a high class unique fragrance and I'm there for it. Uh, the star of this is the uh, passion fruit. It takes you through a journey as it drives down through the osmanthus, the florals, the iris, the fruitiness musky, the tuberous, the sweetness, the balsamic, then the woodiness. Very bright, very green. I'm loving this fragrance. I'm here for it.